What's up, sports bettors? It's the last day of the WNBA regular season. We have six games. It's a good day as a WNBA better. Six games is a lot. So we're going to be going through the best bets for today. And as always, we're going to be looking for value, right? It doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, whether it's the NBA, WNBA, MLB, tennis, whatever, you're always looking for edges, for value as a sports better. So the first bet I saw in the WNBA that I really like for today is the Liberty on the point spread. So the way that Odds Jam works, right, is it's constantly scanning these sports books. You can see I locked in Liberty minus three and a half, minus 110 odds for 250 bucks. Is Odds Jam is just really constantly scanning the markets, all these betting lines to try to find you the best bets available where there's actually value in the odds where the sports better actually has the edge. So we can see right here, we have Liberty minus three and a half at minus 110 odds in a 5% profit margin. So pretty high profit margin on this bet, right? Like if you think of the return of the stock market, it's like 8% a year. If you can get 5% in a bet, that seems pretty good. So if we click into the odds for this game, you can see that win bet is a pretty big line discrepancy, right? Every sports book is setting the Liberty point spread at four or four and a half. Win bet is the outlier. They're setting the spread at Liberty minus three and a half. So this is a big line discrepancy and you can see that pinnacle. So the sharpest sports book in the world, they're pricing this all the way down at minus 132 on the Liberty minus three and a half um, point spread. So what you want to do as a sports better, right, is always look for value, always look for edges, and lines have been drifting towards the Liberty, and you can see WinBet is just a bit stale, giving you this price on um, the New York Liberty. So I went ahead, I locked it in, this is my best WNBA bet for today, a lot of value, I believe the point spread should be set at like four and a half, and of course, you know, the jump from three and a half to four and a half is pretty big. It may not seem that big, but the probability of the Liberty winning this game by exactly four points, where you'd cover the minus three and a half spread and not the minus four and a half spread, is pretty large. So being able to pick up an extra point in value in a point spread is pretty big, right? So being able to get Liberty minus three and a half is great value. I locked it in, uh, thanks to Odds Jam, and let's make some money today.